fun this time, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. your right hands or... <laughs> Meaning we're coming to a complete stop. You just come close to me like this. This one is the electric motor, very small, producing about 80 kilowatts. This one is the battery recharger, onboard recharger. Especially in tourism, there is this uh, eco eco point of view that uh, when you come to far come to far away to Lapland to fragile areas, you don't want to ruin the um, silence of the nature and the feeling. How is it to be in the deep, deep down to forest, uh, feel the complete silence if you have uh, engine noise or uh, polluting vehicles there, it breaks the illusion, you know, it's not the real, real deal anymore to come here in the deep forest. Temperatures can drop down to minus 30, even minus 40 degrees Celsius degrees. So it's very cold and that is something we have uh, been uh, struggling with the lithium ion cells that how to manage in extreme temperatures. But uh, we have uh, managed to make an um, active thermal management system in our sleds, which means that we are able to operate in the coldest temperatures possible because we always keep our lithium ion cells warm. The biggest issue is the range at the moment. We can ride 40 kilometers with these easelets, so you really need to plan the route before before you go to the deep down to the forest, because you don't you don't want to go 40 kilometers to the forest and then mm, you don't have battery enough to get back home. They're great going through a countryside like this because it's peaceful and you get to see things where before the, the, just the noise of the other ones would be, uh, you know, would take anything like wildlife or anything like that away from that sort of situation. It's a bit like going if you went to drive a Formula One racing car. I mean, if you if you turned up and it was electric, it would probably be. Um, a little bit disappointing I suppose but the performance is there, the power's there and um, the speed's there so it's, you've only got to get your head around that um, electric scenario I suppose it's the same with the electric cars when they first came out.
scientists all over the world which are taking uh, some climate studies in a very fragile area, Arctic areas or Antarctic areas. Those really, those uh, research really, really need uh, pure kind of technologies to make the measurements happen because they cannot pollute in these uh, fragile areas when they are making the measurements.